running a uh, trial on this new ball kettle at the moment. I'm just uh, I just got it hooked up to um, <clears throat> 120 straight up to the ink bird, and then I'm uh, just making sure the ink bird on 120 can hold the mash temperature. Um, and it seems to be doing it without any trouble at all, which is cool. I've got the 240 on the speed controller there um, for the boil and, and all that, but I've got the ink running just in the top here. He's circulating at the moment with just a little uh, solar pump, which is hanging in there. Pretty fantastic at the moment. And then the, the probe just wants a bit of then flying water. From the recirculation um, just to make sure it gets an accurate temperature but at the moment um, yeah, it's dropped down to 153 now I'm gonna do a uh, the whole garden Belgian whip this weekend so uh, just making sure uh, I run a little test run before I do that um, here in barbecue, Larry's recipe. I love that recipe that uh, you taste it. I think you probably even make it. And then, um, oh yeah, just going up and down there now. So, and then I got the 240 volt that I can run anyway. I just thought I'd test the 120 just to see how accurately it holds temperature. And, and it seems to whip it up pretty quick and then and, and knock it off again. So, <clears throat> rather than run the 240. Because this is just a 5,000 watt speed controller or dimmer that I've rigged up, as you do. Um, running through to a 550 or 5,500 watt element um, from Brew Hardware, which is amazing. I'm just about to change the wires over now. I've just got some of the soft core wire to um, hardwire it in properly now with some nice soft wire um, so because this stuff's pretty <laughs> this stuff's pretty uh, pretty rigid let's say and then I'll hardwire it in through the wall to the mains so because uh, this is where the setup's going to be from here on out pretty happy with it so far things going great so um, I might do a, uh, a full brew video this weekend and I'll uh, I'll chuck it up on a uh, Homebrew Wednesday, I, I do a brew in the bag system through this five gallon. Uh, if I run a 12 pound grain bill, I can run the entire water in there at once. I don't have to sparge or add to the work at all to get up to that 5.25 usually mark and uh, put about four gallons in the keg and bottle the rest all right yeah that's quick that's great and 120 volt running the big five 5500 watt that's good all right cheers guys